Scoop the poop. Scoopity poop. Is that Kanye song? Yeah. Ow. One and only. Yeah. I heard that he actually, Drake wanted that beat, and, and that's why he did that. Because he bought the beat. Who knows the real story? He just put out a fresh fucking beat that took the world by storm, baby. Yeah, they all say, those years ago. They well, they say they say that basically Drake wanted that beat really bad, so Kanye made a joke song over it, so Drake couldn't use it. Good. Drake Drake said some some disrespectful things about Kim Kardashian. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he said a couple dis and about Nicki Minaj. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, well, welcome everybody to episode 299. That's right. Super Mega Cast. Almost, almost at the big three zero zero. Can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? God, so close. One away. Just one away. That is. Matt is now shirtless. It's hot in here, man. Maybe it's just me. Is it it stuffy in here? Uh, doesn't feel all too bad. I mean, I am wearing a tank top and shorts and. Maybe I, I, I could afford to take these puppies off. My yeah, little take those Crocs off. My Crocs, <sighs> no Crocs. Like you don't, you don't need Crocs on the couch. Oh, yeah, let those little puppies breathe. Here. I need to clip my toenails. <sighs> They're getting pretty fierce. No, dude, grow them out. Okay, it's the so they cur- it's, till they like curl downward or upward. <laughs> it's or whatever, white boy summer fuck. again. You know, white it's boy always white back. boy summer, baby. Well, it's 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 beautiful black woman summer. As well. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, uh, one episode until three hundred. Um, yep. And uh, we're sitting in our fully deconstructed podcast <laughs> set right now. It looks awful. It, it was perfect. And then it f- got fully deconstructed for some reason. Well, because well, Leighton needed to iron the damn curtains. Well, he's been needed. To- well, I've been asking him to iron the damn curtains for months. And then he said, well, he can't iron them because they're too hard to iron. He's going to listen to this big. and it's going to break his little heart. I know. And then he had to hire a company to, to come steam them tomorrow. I don't think that's happening anymore. The steaming? I think he heard some advice and something about a something about um, wallpaper remover. What? And, and then how that'll be the, that's the secret trick and that he's going to do that. What? And you have to do it while you put them up. So that's why they're on the couch or something. Okay. I have no clue. I have no idea. Do you want to? Do you want to hear him explain it himself? No, not really. Okay. You know, I that that's gonna be a whole thing, take a whole five to ten minutes. Yeah. And I'm not gonna understand a single bit of it. Yeah. So, well, he usually speaks in a different language for some reason when he's telling us stuff. Yiddish? What is it? I don't know. Maybe he's trying to impress. Maybe he learned Unilog and he's trying to impress you. Oh, I would you recognize up? it if he if he if he was talking it to you? I haven't brushed up in a while. <laughs> I'm I'm a little bit rusty at Unilog right now. But uh, how rusty is your Japanese? It's pretty rusty. Is it? Yeah, can uh, you still you can still hold a decent conversation. You say? Yeah, en- enough of it's like deep burned into my memory at this point, just from do- trying to learn it for so long that like there's a lot I just don't think I'll ever forget. Yeah, like a lot of the basic That's good. stuff, and like reading it and writing it for like a good portion being obsessed with it yeah that really helped me out (laughs) like taking graph paper and just practicing each character over well that's what you have to do yeah that's what we did when we were kids and we were learning to write our alphabet except it's a lot easier to draw the letter c than it is to do like a 27 stroke chinese character well they wanted to be all fancy with it. yeah they chose to write like that you know it's fucking ridiculous (laughs) like like who who the hell can read that not me. Not me. Have you even seen Arabic? Oh Ugh. my! Don't get me started on that God. one, dude. Bunch of Tr- squiggles Oof. and some dots here and there. Yeah, they just throw dots wherever they want, like those damn Russians. But at least I can understand some of the shapes in Russian. Some of the shapes in Russian make sense, but the backwards in and the backwards are—that's messed up. That throws me for a loop yeah. every time. Is it? Is it R? Is it in? <sighs> what, what the hell is it? Who knows? What sound does it make? <laughs> <laughs> nice yeah dude fucking, that's right that's right fucking tag those russians baby i have skin peeling off of my arm and hand as we speak look at that that's disgusting yep um matt came on himself this time though it was a bit of a hot a bit of, I, some would call it a, a boiling substance shot from his from his cock do you see this i am yeah um I came on my belly and uh, it was burned hot. myself it was, a little bit. Yeah, they say I told you come was warm. Well, I I knew it was warm. I just didn't realize that it was going to be that hot. How was the first time masturbating? 
Honestly, be- <sighs> I guess I think I hyped it up too much in my head. Still better than sex. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely better than sex. Um, Especially if you're all nice and dr- like a dry hand. Yes, a dry hand is the way to go. It's like a like rough, like calloused hand. <laughs> uh, but basically, I have all the skin is peeling off my arm. Third degree birds. Actually, they're fourth degree. <laughs> I have to go to the hospital. Actually, I got to go right now. It's infected. We, your skin's bubbling still. It, well, it's it's fucking <coughs> shiny. It's fucking shiny and like peeling off because I had a so there's a. There's Do you a, hear this guffawing? Yeah, going I hear on? something. It's distracting me. I hear a fucking bunch of screaming and giggling outside. <sighs> Don't they know when we're recording the podcast? They need to shut it, like completely. They need to go in their separate little fucking boxes, close it, lock it, and we'll come in and unlock it when we're done. It's it's quiet reading time. Yes. Okay. SSR. It seems like it stopped. Okay. Thank God. Just what I hear are employees filled with joy. It makes me go, that doesn't sound like work. We're doing something wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But basically, I uh, there's a stain by my bed on the carpet from a protein shake. It's not coming. Protein no, shake. it's a protein shake. Protein it, shake. And okay, it, it, it's hardened because it's protein. So I'm like, fuck. So I got like a carpet cleaner. To, to get it out with, which I filled up with water, took it upstairs. Then I boiled a pot of water because I was going to put boiling water on it, kind of like course. break it down. I, I go over to the pot. It's bubbling like crazy. I pick it up I and I want to get to my room as fast as possible while the water is as hot as it is. I, I start walking. There's a little quarter size drop of water on the floor from the machine. And I just fucking cut like banana peel slip <laughs> And then splash the entire pot of boiling water all over, like straight down my arm and my right hand. It's insane. And it's weird though. You, you, uh, it's like all like, I can see your tendons and stuff. It burned through. I'm surprised you haven't gone to the hospital. Yeah. Look, actually, if I move this little part right here, you can see the bone through it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah okay. That. It's like a little bit of like a translucent, like skin thing. Also, going it's, on. it's cool. You don't realize like when, when you move your fingers, how much actually happens inside your arm. But like, now you can see that. Yeah. yeah you, see you've muscles. grown an, an appreciation for it. Like when I move these two fingers, those, those tendons all the way in the back of my arm move. Yeah. But yeah, it, it hurt pretty bad. But, uh, as Luckily, burning oneself with, with scalding water would, would, would go. It, it was boiling. It was still bubbling in the pot when I slipped. Well, thank God you didn't get any serious, like, yeah, I got, burns. Yeah, I got it. very lucky because honestly, like, I could have, if I had splashed myself in the face with my eyes open. If you told me you spilled boiling water on yourself and you showed me that, I'd be like, nah. You yeah. got some, you got some good skin. Got some, like, turtle like shell skin yeah i well i think i think because it was a quick splash like pfft, yeah and it, it was such a quick exposure that man and it sucked too because like it felt hot when it happened but like i think i was kind of in shock of the concept of what was happening usually at first you don't feel it at all i, I did right? i and felt then, the splash and it was hot but in my mind there was that shock of oh fuck because i knew exactly what was happening as it was happening i was like fuck and I like jumped up and I like grabbed my arm and I like shook it off and it was all over like my pants and shit. And you like held it under cold water. Yeah, and I held, looked at put it, it in a tub. And I was like, oh my God, this is going to hurt in like five minutes. So then I had to go put it in cold or semi cold water for like 30 minutes. And I think that that was the main thing that helped it. So I just plunged it in. I kept it's, it's it. It's immediately. What, what do they say? If you, if, if, if you get burned or something, run it under cold water immediately. ASAP, baby. Yeah, and I just did that. And uh, then Jim got me some stuff at CVS, and I wrapped my arm up last night. Last night, it fucking sucked. It hurt very bad. But today, it's, you know, it's fine. It's it's better. I d- didn't expect it to heal this quickly. So that's uh, an update on my life. Hold on. Let's, uh, shift around in the chair a little bit. That's not me. This... The squeaking. Yeah, what is that? That's what I'm trying to piece together. We don't Y'all can't hear it. Is it a bird outside? Maybe. What the hell is that? A cricket? In our walls? Well, it's not doing it anymore. Yeah, it's not the chairs. It's like a it's like a high pitched squeak. It goes, dee, 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 dee. Wait, mic stand? 
No. I think it is my chair. Something in your chair, maybe. This is very entertaining. They, yeah, <laughs> just like silent. <laughs> like I'm, sh- I'm shaking my chair. I, was I don't trying know to what figure the fuck that out. is. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah. Y'all can't hear it. Hmm. Sucks to not be able to hear it. Or maybe they can. Yeah, maybe they can. Or may- maybe you, when you're listening, you're convincing this, yourself you can hear. This it. thing of the pick up Michael Jackson's high notes. Yeah. So. Yeah, and those are a little bit not as high as the squeak we're hearing right now. Yeah. So. It's it's uh maybe we have like a little mouse. Oh you know? god. Dude, I wish we had a little mouse and it was like the type in the cartoon where like the baseboard of the floor, there's like that little like archway in <laughs> like a little hole. Yeah. <laughs> there should be like a little wooden door he comes out of. There's yeah. a little, little curtains. We just put like a little piece of cheese in front of it and he comes and gets it. I would love that dude. And he nods his head in appreciation and goes back in and feeds his wife and children. If I ever have to build a house, if I'm ever forced to build construct a house, I'm gonna put one of those in. And I'll put like a little mini living room behind it. I rem- I'm remembering some Family Guy, Mickey Mouse, and Minnie Mouse bit. Yeah. <sighs> what was it? I feel like it. Like there's like visually just because of the whole mouse thing. But in, in my head makes it feel like it's. Are it's, they like fighting? Yeah, they're like fighting or something. Abuse yeah, 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 yeah. Like it's like off color or something. Like I'm like, mm, I'm gonna look because up. Mickey and Minnie would never would never do that. You know, you just could not picture them in that situation. So when Seth MacFarlane puts them in such, it is, so, it's shocking. Oh, yeah, it was definitely green. Boy, let me tell you, he was iron that drip the whole time, caught him in the act. God, people make the darndest things. Is that a family guy edit? Yeah. Man, the rest of the podcast, like after episode 300, should just be us. Just So there's, uh, I think that there's this one family guy clip. Uh, I mean, like five minutes of trying to find it on YouTube, and then just like, ah, uh, never mind. But but there is this one that uh, where where Peter he gets like a helicopter, you know, and uh, he calls it the Peter Copter, and uh, I'm trying to find it. Yeah, yeah, I might. I can't. Just one time, one of my cousins, I went over to his house. And he came in a corner. It's pretty weird. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Are you referencing my horror? <laughs> yeah. I can't get that out of my head. Not yeah. that. Not just that. Wait. No. They. You came in a corner. Your cousins came no, on on a no, dresser not. My cousins or on a come. wall. This they had kid, a come wall. This kid I knew from college. <laughs> It wasn't. It wasn't my cousin, but you came in the corner. Yes, I. I yeah. <laughs> yes, I did, dude. I came in socks. Used to. So I thought that you had to jerk off with a sock on your penis. No, that's like what I thought. So I tried it, and I was like, "This hurts." What no, like I just used it. Like I would. Yeah, no, I, 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 I only, like I thought in middle school that you were supposed <laughs> to like just put it over your dick. That would hurt, and it did hurt. That'd feel weird. It did. It was not comfortable, and they were like cheap ass Walmart socks too. Ugh. I, well, they were my dad's socks. Uh, Crusty socks, yeah. eh? Hey, yeah. Man, dude, this uh, is disgusting. My arm right now. I know. It's just kind of off-putting. It looks like you didn't put any antibiotics on it at all. No, it's pulsating. It's like crusting around like the perimeter of the burn. Yeah, I, well, I think that's But like, it looks like a, a dry healing. foam, like a dry yellow foam. Oh, I think the immune system is pretty... That's probably just something it does. Yeah. I mean, your body wants to fix itself. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely uh, think it's doing that because it wasn't not. uh, See, okay. See how like where I'm not hurt. See how I can see the blood vessels and they're black and they're slowly. I've noticed that the blackness is going further up my arm now. Um, And I think that that's uh, I don't I don't think that's bad. No, I think it's fine. As you said body heals itself and if the doctor well you didn't see a doctor i don't need to they're fucking crackpots dude they just want to get you on they want to hop you up on ritalin they want to put me on ritalin in oxycontin and then fucking charge me seven grand and you got kids on ritalin we've got kids on ritalin adults on oxycontin you know i want to live in a world where there are no pharmaceutical drugs and people don't have to take these drugs to feel good yeah so does everyone else 
Yeah, we can live in that world if we take away the pharmaceutical drugs. Listen, and you depression. got kids on Ritalin? Tom Cruise impression. from his. Does he say that? Yeah. <laughs> Something of that ill. Wait, is he saying taking away the pharmaceutical companies, everyone will suddenly just be happy? There'll be no depression or anxiety? Or... He's saying people should not take antidepressants and such. Well, they should just be happy like him. Yes, you know? exactly. He found a way to be happy uh, by being uh, a millionaire who uh, belongs to the biggest yes man corporation to exist for rich celebrities. Yeah. So if the rich celebrity says be happy, honestly, sorry, religion, religion, yeah. man, we should join Scientology, dude. I've been saying this for a while. I'm kind of interested. Do you think they're going to make a sequel going clear again? <laughs> <laughs> have they done more? They've had to have done more shit that people just aren't aware of. Oh yeah, Definitely. Well, I'm sure more is going to come out in the future about Scientology. What? That squeaking's killing me, man. I know. I don't know what it is. Is it the table? No, but see, when I'm moving to my chair, it's not happening. Yeah. But it's always when I'm talking. What the hell? I'm trying to shake my leg like I do. What? Dude, this sucks. The squeaking episode. This is the episode with the the phantom squeaks. <laughs> there are phantom squeaks going on in this room. It's like it's like it sounds like bi bicycle like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fucking weird, dude. Maybe the room is bugged. S sounds like a bed frame. It does. When I'm with your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Only that many times too. <laughs> hey, you know, pumper and dumper. Yeah, that's what that's Jim right. says. Yeah, that's that is what Jim says, and he is good at it too. <laughs> oh yeah, he pumps and dumps like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> that boy does not ever use. I don't think he's ever used a condom once in his life. Doesn't need him. Damn it, my penis fell off. Yep. Okay, we'll go to ad breaks then. <laughs> Where'd my penis go? Lately, I've been listening to a lot of the Super Mega Cast. That's right, my own podcast, and it's been great. One reason it's been great to listen to, you may ask? Well, if you did ask that, then the answer is because I use my Raycon wireless earbuds to do it. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. With optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds are so comfortable and they will not budge. Trust me. Raycon's offers three sound profiles to match what you're listening to, plus noise isolation and awareness mode so you can choose to be immersed in sound or be able to hear your surroundings when you need to. I know when I when I'm when I'm going through the airport and I'm wearing my Raycon earbuds laughing my ass off to the Super Mega Cast it really helps to dis, to to have it to where I can hear my surroundings so if someone's running up behind me I can move out of their way then when I get on that plane I can whoop put them in the noise canceling mode and man I'm in just absolute bliss when I use my air uh, when I use my Raycon uh, wireless earbuds another huge selling point with Raycons you get the same quality audio as other premium audio brands but at half the price yes really but that doesn't mean they won't last I've seen people talk about their Raycons falling from three stories up getting lost in rain and snowstorms and still working afterwards it's no wonder Raycons everyday earbuds have over 49,000 five star reviews views check out raycon's wireless earbuds my guess is that you're going to want to leave them a five-star review too hopefully go to buyraycon.com slash super mega today to get 15 percent off your raycon order that's buyraycon.com slash super mega to score 15 percent off and uh, you get matt what is that buyraycon.com slash super mega yep yep that's it no one likes waiting on a paycheck especially when you've got bills due I hate waiting on a paycheck, especially when I have bills due. Ryan hates waiting on a paycheck when he especially has bills due. No one likes it. Good thing there's Chime. Now you can get your paycheck up to two days early with direct deposit. That's up to two days. That's up to two more days to save, pay bills, and generally just feel better about your money situation. But Chime is more than just getting paid early. It's also an award-winning mobile app, checking account, debit card, and optional savings account. I use the Chime mobile app myself. Uh, I have a debit card with them, and I also have a savings account, and it's pretty epic. Uh, I really, I, I, I'm fed up with traditional banks, and Chime is pretty epic in my, in my opinion. It's very easy to use app, and it's fun. So what are you waiting for? Hopefully not your paycheck. <laughs> oh, get started with Chime today. Applying for a free account takes less than two minutes. Get started at chime.com/super. That's chime.com/super. 
Banking services and debit card provided by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank North America. Members FDIC. Early access to direct deposit funds depends on payer. Hold on. Well, look look deeper under the couch. Your cocks. Yeah, I think you must have gone under the couch. Oh. Shit. It just fell out of my pocket. Oh. <laughs> yeah, in your pocket the whole time. Yeah. Silly goose. Okay. Well. Welcome back. Well, hold. Uh, welcome back, every. Well, hold up. <sighs> Gotta get this thing on. Mm. Uh, is this thing on? That's what Jim does to to women in the grocery store. He pulls out his erect penis and he taps on the tip of it and goes, "Uh, is this thing on?" Jim I, is like a tight five whenever I see him. What's a tight five? You go up on like a uh, like on stage, like a comedy club. You get five minutes. Oh, I didn't know that's what that was. Yeah, Jim's always delivering his stand-up jokes to people on the street uh, when he when he walks by him. He just throws them out at him. He doesn't ask. No, he, he just, just kind of he just, just throws them out. He goes into it. With an, some of the bits are good, I will say. He needs to work on some with the, uh, the Native, epithets. Yeah, and the Native American one. I've told him not well, to do the, that one yeah, with the one, impressions that's, that's and the stuff. That's the main one, yeah. yeah. That one, I'm like, Jim, that doesn't go. But he does it. He He's jumps like, I'm 1% Cherokee. And we're like, okay, Jim. <sighs> I don't know if that like gives mother me, like son. Yeah, I guess in that mm. in this instance, apple doesn't fall far from the racist tree. So, <laughs> but that's Jim, you know. Yeah. Jim, Jim's Jim's gonna Jim. Jimmy's gonna Jim. Jimmy, Jimmy. Um, are you ready yes. for the last half? It's coming July eleventh. Eleventh. Okay. It's, it's a little over a month away. Better Call Saul, the final six episodes. July eleventh. We right? haven't talked about Better Call Saul in a hot minute. Uh, but because we can't. Because spoilers. I know. We've been watching. 34 days. 34 days. I have that countdown app that Ooh. I put things so I can... Every I now to, and then, if I need a boost of positivity, I can just be like, look at it and look at all the things that I'm excited for. I need to do the same thing. I have one for when my when I want my album to come you out. You can color code them too. See, look at all this stuff. I got this. The widgets on the phone screen. Ooh. So uh, uh -huh. you, you can just see it all. It's beautiful. But basically, um, yeah. I'm thinking Arby's. Ooh, I could go for Arby's right now. Are you serious? No. Okay. I just had food. That sounds Dude, I, I don't think disgusting. Like, Arby's, like, I know it's the meme that it sucks, but, like, it actually sucks. Yes. Like, like I know. It's like, not good. It's like this funny Shrek meme. How can you be in the mood for Arby's? I, you can't, dude. It's disgusting. It's like when you think of fast food, like, roast beef sandwiches just don't come to mind for me. The Arby's Corporation. Is this the hill you really want to die on? Sue us. Yeah. We dare you. Pussies. Yeah. Arby's, if uh, if you want to prove you're not pussies, go ahead and file a lawsuit. Yeah. And to prove, and honestly, it'll be an easy case. All we'll have to do is eat one of your sandwiches on the stand. Mm-hmm. The... <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Judge like banging down his gavel. It's like someone's like choking down an Arby's sandwich. <laughs> Your Honor, objection. That's the most disgusting sandwich my clients ever tasted. <laughs> Overruled. <laughs> <coughs> Fuck. Yeah. How's your uh? How's your back stuff? Uh, it's going. I mean, I still wake up kind of like in pain, and I take. I forgot to take my pain medication. Really? You need to take my pain medication. All right. I'll keep them entertained. Okay, yeah, you better. Ooh, um, uh, tell them how, how your sister's doing. Okay. Uh, hey, guys. My sister, uh, Sam, she's doing great. Uh, she's, she works in Dallas, Texas. Uh, she works in finance. So maybe some of you, when you go to the bank, you might unknowingly be talking to my sister who knows uh she's married no kids uh just got her first house uh her and her husband very very uh very proud of them you know something they worked for for a very long time and now they've done it uh and i couldn't be happier not at all it might not sound like i'm that enthralled but i really am Sometimes my tone doesn't match the way I feel on the inside. Because right now it's overwhelming glee. But my tone on the outside, you know, sounds semi-depressed or just um, apathetic, I guess you could say. Well, I'm not. I'm happy. I'm very happy. Uh, and I'm more happy that Ryan's back now. 
just mocked Leighton. I heard you. I, I like I heard like a, like someone mocking Leighton's voice. <laughs> I actually I thought it was Leighton though. I thought it was Leighton saying something. Yeah, it was me, baby. It was you mocking him? Nice. I just have to put him in his place sometimes. Yeah, you really got to make fun of his appearance and voice to put him in his place. Yeah. If our employees step out of line, you know what to do. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, you know, uh, I don't. Uh, you know, my 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 arms all burnt, but I don't need pain medication. Okay, buddy. I go the. I'm more into Eastern medicine. Just take a warm bath. Yeah, it solves all your problems. Just do some Pilates. Uh, I actually do what Keemstar recommended. Just have a couple sips of beer. Oh, I ha I actually have a question for the audience, since so many want to help me out with my physical ailments. Um. Am I just not supposed to go see a movie in a movie theater or, like, be comfortable playing video games? Like, f do I just need to be comfortable with that fact for a while? Is that just something that I have to be like, all right, well, not seeing a movie in the theaters for a bit. Or is there a secret device that y'all that use that you ordered off of Amazon or, or you went to Walmart and got or Rite Aid? I don't know where you shop. That's like, this is the secret tool where I can, I can sit down for two hours with my sciatica. <laughs> you could, I mean, you could just like stand up every now and then, but just seeing like a dude stand up in the movie theater. Like in his, like I, but I'd always, ha I'd always have to get a back seat and I'd make sure it's right under the projector too. Just, it's unsettling when a man just quickly stands up <laughs> in the movie theater. It's like, oh. I start pacing back and forth. <laughs> what, is, what is he doing? <laughs> I start walking up and down the steps. The guy comes in with a flashlight. Sir. Are you okay? Yeah, just my back. Oh, okay. Because the pain, when I sit, the pain usually goes into three areas. It would be my ankle, my hamstring, and then my upper glute. My neck, my back, my pussy, and my crack. <coughs> so I have a lumbar fucking support thing for my car. Is there any special device or special creams or medications that might help me be comfortable so I can enjoy the things that make me happy once again? If not, that's fine. If, if it's just suck it up and deal with it, unfortunately, well, for just, a few months. You just had an MRI. Uh, yeah, but I don't have any results from it. They gave me a CD and said, this is your MRI. And I'm like, okay. The doctor will call you in a few days to give you his interpretation. Oh, they gave like, you a okay. CD and said, CD's nuts. They didn't because she was too old to know of this. I'm oh. sure if she was younger, she would have cracked, said that, she yeah. would have cracked it quick. Yeah. That, that's the problem with that, putting old people in these positions that need to be filled by young people. Like politics? <sighs> we need more young people like Madison Cawthorn in politics. Also, the ENT still hasn't gotten back to me. So my septum's still fucked. Yeah, your septum is absolutely <laughs> fucked. You have to have that surgery, dude. It's like, when you look up your nose, which I do very often, <laughs> it's like actually sticking out. Like, yeah. your septum is, is b blocking one of your... It's like it's broken. But right now they're haggling Does with it hurt? Insurance. Like when you touch it? No. Fucking haggling with insurance, dude. Why they said it would be like three days, and it's been fucking forever. Our goddamn healthcare system is so epic. My veteran, my like the vet I have for Lego is more responsive than like the actual doctors I go to. Yeah, or, man, doctors and lawyers—they're all gonna burn in hell together. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Just why? I want to build Clinton's big promise. I just want to be fixed. Like a dog? <laughs> I think I cut your nuts off. Uh, one of Bill Clinton's big promises uh, when he was in office that he campaigned on, and I only know this because uh, some lady told me this out of the blue at some, I don't even remember where I was recently. She was like, you know, I remember, oh, it was a creator clash. It was, it was one of the doctors that was checking us out. She's like, I remember Bill Clinton, um, one of his big campaigns was he was going to make medical stuff Way, have way less paperwork and he was campaigning for less paperwork and that just never happened and uh i think about that a lot that's a really interesting thing to campaign on. yeah well bill clinton's a pervert no he's not ryan did you know that did did, did you know that bill clinton <laughs> did you know gaming on bill clinton <laughs> did you know bill clinton got his cock sucked he got that sloppy toppy in the oval office <laughs> i, I want to see like what it like the with like the sidebars of the digital you know, game it's like bill clinton got that sloppy toppy in the oval office <laughs> he did bill clinton committed sexual assault in the oval office he that man uh we'll see he never he never stimulated the woman he was stimulating himself 
And when they said, did you have sexual relations by that definition? And he said, no, I did not. By that definition, in his mind, he was not lying because he had the definition of sexual relations as him stimulating her. I technically did not have sexual relations with this wo- with that woman. Technically. Yeah, he just says it really I quiet. I t- did not. <laughs> yeah, just, and they're like, you lied. It's like, I no, play it back. Look. Technically. Did not have sexual relations with that b- 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 woman. Monica. Can you cut out when I s- w- with the B sound? <laughs> <laughs> On live TV. <laughs> you guys cut out the stutter? <laughs> no? We're almost said, uh, almost called her a bitch. Oh, well, now I went and did it. <laughs> Dude, Bill Clinton. Oh, Bill, what have you done? <laughs> oh, Bill, you silly goose. <laughs> Just, like, betraying him as this oaf, like, this dope, is so counterintuitive to, like, the shit that he actually did in, like, in in the Oval Office. Oh, man. As I, president. I, I blew up an aspirin factory. <laughs> God damn it. I thought, it, I thought there were terrorists there. <laughs> He was just making a uh, uh, fuck. Oh Hill. Oh, oh uh, it's today's been a doozy. Oh Hill, I messed up bad. Oh, don't look at the news, Hill. What? What did you do now, Bill? <laughs> you you blew up an as an aspirin factory in the oh, Middle East. I told you not to look up the news. Now you're just gonna now you're just gonna be mad at me. Bill, three children are dead. I'll go stand in my corner. Yeah, I'll just go sit in the corner. My, don't forget your dunce cap. <laughs> don't. Yes, yes, Hill. He did. He blew up an asp. He, he said that there were terrorists and weapons there, and they, they, they drone striked it and blew it up. Turns out it was just an aspen aspirin factory. Aspen. It was the aspen factory. An aspen factory. I don't know why I can't say aspirin today. I keep saying aspen. Why don't they just English? Honestly, like you know how like it kind of just simplifies as time goes on. Yeah. Instead of becoming more complex, it's just like why would it become more complex? Y- yeah. The point of language is to get your idea across in, in, in as little time as possible. Well, I'm saying they they just need to start cutting Ugh. the bullshit out of a lot of words, like aspirin, aspirin. Yeah. You know, just like like cut things down, cut the fluff out of the words. Where you go today? Yeah, just talk like I've that. Been. You know, it's like Take just aspirin. like you just basic. You it's less tongue work, I'm less going vocal to work. Seven eleven, sevlev, sevlev. I go sevlev. You know, <laughs> I go sevlev. It makes sense. Okay. Dude, a lot of languages, it's like, if you break it down, it's literally just like, I go 7-Eleven. It's, you, so, it's so stupid that it's not English. I know. <sighs> just to make Americans sound even dumber than they already do. Yeah. Well, uh, before you know it, Joe Biden's going to make the uh, national language Arabic. These dumb, fat Americans. These stupid, dumb, fat Americans eating their cheeseburgers on their way to France. God damn it. It's it you know what's not able to speak another language. You know what they call it in France? You know what they call a quarter pounder in France? <laughs> a royale with cheese. <laughs> I have to take a shit. Go take a shit. We'll have another ad break. Oh, oh I really got to take a shit. Yeah, go take that shit, buddy. Guys, if you want ultra easy skincare that's actually made for your skin, Curology is the way to go. You'll get a custom prescription cream made for you by a dermatology provider for your specific goals. Whether that's tackling acne, clogged pores, skin texture, dark spots, fine lines, or something else. You start by taking a short online skin quiz, and if it's a good fit, they'll ship you your formula right to your door. And that's what I did. I just took their little quiz, and all of a sudden they sent me this personalized formula, and I'm not usually one into skincare stuff. Like, I don't, I, I've never taken good care of my skin, but this makes it super easy, especially if it's like a personalized thing. I know that it's going to work for my skin. I just rub it on, and I know, ah, my skin's going to feel and be better for it. Get started with Curology just like I did, with a free 30-day trial at Curology.com super. Just pay $5 for shipping and handling. That's C U R O L O G Y dot com slash super to start your free 30 day trial. Cancel any time. Prescription subject to consultation. Today's episode of the Super Mega Cast is brought to you by Keeps. 
Keeps offers a simple, affordable, and stress-free way to keep your hair via conventional virtual doctor consultations and medications delivered straight to your door every three months. You don't have to leave your home. Keeps also has a network of expert medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists to support you in making your hair goals a reality. And it comes at a low cost. Treatments start at just $10 per month and Keeps offers generic versions of the two FDA-approved medications to prevent hair loss. Treatment plans are affordable, typically half the cost of pharmacy prices. Keeps has everything your hair needs delivered straight to your door with discreet packaging and proven results. Remember, prevention is key. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act fast. When it comes to your hair, save more, spend less. That's exactly what Matt and I do. You know, as they said, prevention is key. You don't already have to be losing that hair to to, to, to want to maintain it or to maintain it. Matt and I need to keep our hair to look youthful for YouTube. We're edging 30s, whoa-oh, and Keeps helps us do that by keeping our hair. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash supermega to receive your first month for treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash supermega to get your first month free. Keeps.com slash supermega. Remember, this K-E-E-P-S dot com slash supermega. That's how you... Sp- yep. Bye. Thank you. Well, that was nice. Yeah? Yeah. I'm Took back. a nice little little plop in the toilet. Yeah, I guess you could say that. <sighs> Maybe some sludge. Was yeah. it more like a waterfall of sludge or some plops intermittent? Yeah, somewhere in between. You know? Okay. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's what I'm talking about. That's man. all I'll say. I'll leave the rest up to the imagination. That's what I'm fucking talking about. That is what that's what you're fucking talking about, man. And uh, yeah. What's 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 new with Ryan McGee? Well, I haven't been doing much besides like coming in the work. Going home, resting, going on walks. Like I said, I can't really do much shit. Just kind of been lazing about, going on walks, going on drives here, there, to go to the grocery store or whatnot. Very basic stuff. I want. I, I just want to be fixed so I can do things again and feel comfortable. Like, I just want to... I want to be comfortable, like, coming over to your place and just hanging out. Yeah, like just standing around, up. just sitting down in whatever position I want, just being comfortable. Like, it's the little things you take for granted. It is. You you don't know what you got till it's gone. You know? Yeah. Well, it's been going on since 420. Yeah, it looks like someone smoked a little too much pot. That's what happened. Too much chronic. I, I only want to refer to weed as chronic from now on. That term isn't used enough. Yo, Ron, you smoking chronic today? Yeah, I be smoking some green. I be smoking a little green. Yeah, man, I'm hooked on chronic. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. A little, a little chronic never hurt anybody. When was the last time you smoked some chronic? Last time I smoked some chronic, <sighs> probably a couple weeks ago. Ooh, probably, probably like two or three weeks ago. I probably took a puff of some chronic off of somebody, maybe like Rav or you or Layton. Yeah, well, I I ingested chronic. Yeah. More recently, within the last week, uh, I took a ed- the edible version of Chronic. Ooh. Uh, but... <laughs> little gummies? Yeah. Little, tiny little gummy. But it hit me like a train. Is it like a five or ten? Ten. ten. Ooh. And man, I'll tell you what, dude. That Chronic had me fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, man. That's fucking sick, dude. I'm so I'm so happy for Thanks, you. Thanks, That's great. Yeah, that shit had me That's fucked. fucking fire. Thanks, bro. That's fucking I was lit. lit. Um. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. It was good. It was. Yeah. Good. It was cool. It was yeah. Good. Uh. You know. How about you? I mean, other than uh, your fucking burns. Anything? Anything going on with you besides housing people for the umpteenth time? Uh. Yeah. Um. Everyone's hitting me up too. Like, hey, can I come stay with you later this month? And I'm just having to say no. <laughs> yeah. Uh. You're also going to be housing Justin soon. Yeah, I just, I need, I need, I need to kick everybody out and force them to go live on the streets. Get the fuck away from me. No, I just, I just want my studio, that's all. You know, Don's in there, snoring like a guy. I can hear Don, (laughs) I can hear him with both my fans on through the wall snoring (laughs) at nighttime. He's in a completely separate room and I have two fans on. He's a loud snorer? Yeah, I think he has sleep apnea, dude. The way he snores, it seems like sleep apnea. It's like, it's like he's choking on his tongue. <laughs> but, you know, basically, 
I've just been chilling. Like a villain. Yeah, all right, okay. Um, and then I started working on a project that I've been kind of sitting on for a couple years, and I finally have made like actual progress in it. And Fanboys? No, not Fanboys. Oh, okay. Uh, that's next year. Um, <laughs> all right. It's a... Uh, it's a little, it's a, a little something. You'll see. You'll see. I don't want. I don't want to say too much. Okay. <sighs> I'm doing porn. Ooh. Yeah. Masturbation videos. Oh shit. Yeah. Were you masturbating your mom? No. Oh. Masturbating myself to oh. my mom. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was about I to say a, you got to get Anne in this. Well, I have a picture of her. She's the one that needs the money. Yeah, I'm doing this for her. I want to buy my mom a house. She kind of gaslit you into it. She just said, well, maybe if I go and stand on the streets, then maybe I'll get more money. And, you know, you have to come in and save the day. Uh, old Matthew saving the day again. Yeah. Yeah, but cut that out because I don't want people to know what my secret project is. No, no, of course. Right. Yeah, but uh, you guys will have to see in due time, you know, what my secret, Matthew's secret project. Oh, I'm sure their their fucking eyes and ears are tingling. And maybe their nose if it's a 4D experience. <sighs> hey. I ain't saying nothing. You know? You're not. Well, I mean, you are saying, you're saying some things, but nothing, nothing to give away the surprise. It's a double negative. I ain't saying nothing. That means I'm saying something. Yeah. Fucking double negatives, dude. What the hell? But you know what people mean when they say that shit. Yeah, every time the teacher would correct you. I ain't saying nothing. That's a double negative, so you're saying something. Shut up. It's like, you know, you know what I, you know what I mean? Like, uh, Imagine can I go to the bathroom? I don't know. Can you? <laughs> Yes. I'm going to just piss right there in, the, in, in your pants. May you go to the bathroom. Teacher. What are we having for lunch? Food. <laughs> May okay. I use the restroom? Can you? I hated that shit. Isn't it the other way around? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to sow misinformation on How the internet. How dare you? How fucking dare you? It's a good day to spread some misinformation, is it not? Well, I mean, a good day as any other. Yeah. Well, let's spread some misinformation. <sighs> Life's been pretty boring. I'm not gonna lie, outside of work. I can't really do much for work because I have to like lay down most of the time, which is why we're having problems. We just got this fucking co op setup set up. But I, to be comfortable, like we could, usually we can have recording sessions last two hours if we need it. And now we're having to take like probably 20, 30 minutes at a time and then take a break. Yeah. And then. You know, we have a we have a we have a little guest in our in our let's play room. Oh yeah, Rav Ravioli. Yeah, he's sleeping in there. We just need to make like a an encampment for all these people to go to. You know, <laughs> we need to get like a little guest house, the ones that you can make at Home Depot, <laughs> or, or like the ones that you can get pre built at Home Depot, and just like have people go in there. We should get one of those tiny little pre-built like sheds at Home Depot. Get them a really nice Dyson fan, you know? Triple bunk beds? Yeah. Don on top, Rav on the bottom. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's it's perfect. It's it's a match made in heaven. You know what I'm saying? Justin could stay in there when he when he when he starts, you Quadruple know. Quadruple bunk beds then. Stack them four high. Okay. You know? <sighs> Let me just swallow some of my spit and my and my boogers. Ew, dude. Oh, it doesn't. It just kind of stays in the you know mid throat. That's disgusting. Come on, man, just swallowing some boogers, baby. That's gross. That's really gross. It's gross. It's gross. It's really gross. Boogers McGee. They call him Snotty McGee. He has to lay down like an old person. You have to lay down. Go on little walks. <laughs> so cute. Go on your little walk. Don't even talk to me. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm ready for your sciatica shit to be better. Apparently it could take months. I'm gonna so. go beat your trainer's ass, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna step into the ring with him. How dude. how dare you s condense my boy like an accordion? I I know, dude. He fucking squeezed you tight like a fucking accordion. <laughs> you you made the same sound too. I now, wish. Now you're crying like the sound of an accordion like expanding. Now now is your expanding. I cry out in pain. <laughs> it's like every morning I wake up and I'm like, I don't feel too bad. And then I move a little and I'm like, I'm like reminded every morning of like, mm. fuck, I'm still dealing with this shit. That's so I was hoping it was morning. like, you know, when you work out too hard and you get some sore shit. Oh yeah. I know about that. Oh hell yeah, brother. Well, 
it goes away after a while. Yeah. This hasn't gone away. It's like that permanent. Almost, it's been about a month and a half now. Damn. Who knows? I might have many more months to go. I mean, is it? I start physical therapy tomorrow. Nice. Nice. So that's something. It's not like something, though, that could last your whole life, right? Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know. Hope not. Whenever I bring that up, I'm like to the doctors, I'm, my worry is that this is just something I'm going to have to be dealing with for years and years down the road. And they're like, they like, they usually just, oh, you're young, you know, you'll be good. But a part of me is like, what does that mean? are you just saying like, I'm young now, so I'll suffer then and then I'll be better. Like when I'm older, like a day, like, what do you, what do you mean by this? Your body will heal. You'll feel better. Your cells regenerate better when you're young. But if you have like a herniated disc, that's pushing on your nerve. Cell regeneration isn't going to help that. Nope. You know? Honestly, dude, if I gave you a good kick in the back, pop that disc back into place, <laughs> honestly, good work. You know? True. I well, it's the swelling you. that happens around the whatever the fucking is Oh, it gets like inflamed. Disc. Yeah. And it pushes on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, maybe they could give you like an anti-inflammatory medication you could take every day. I am on that. Oh, you are? That's what the pain meds are. Oh, I also have mus- muscle relaxers to take at night. Oh. I, I've always I wake been, up dehydrated. I'm like, <gasps> yeah, I've always been kind of scared of taking muscle relaxers because I'm scared of sh- like I'd shit myself in the bed. Yeah. Like, just wake up, just... <laughs> Luckily, that hasn't happened yet. Yeah. Yet. Crossing my fingers, you know? Well, I remember I would give Banana, like, muscle relaxers before going to the vet to calm him down, and the rest of the day, he would just slowly shit while walking around. Like, he would just come out of his ass. And Ew. I'd, like, find, like... Pellets little of pellets like, of god damn it banana at least it's not little ice cream servings no it was just solid little like they would just be coming out of his ass because he i guess didn't know how to control it you know you know it sounds nice having a having a rabbit that goes around the house like a like a small dog or a cat oh but you can't really i don't think you can train a, a a rabbit to poop in a specific area i know a guy that has that like a rabbit that roams around his house it's the guy that made the rugs on my wall. Ooh. He's got like a rabbit uh, named Boogie that goes around his house. Named after Boogie 2988. Of course. Um, yeah. Gentle soul. Wasn't there a video of him with a gun and he like sends yeah, off a warning shot or some he's shit? Like, he's like pointing it at the guy filming. And he's like, don't make me do this, man. Don't make me do this. It's, it's such a good picture. Boogie standing there with the gun in the doorway. <laughs> doesn't he have, doesn't Boogie also have like a, a fucking, what is it called? The... A pic, a, a picture. What is it called? A mug shot. Did he get arrested for that? Mm. Mm-hmm. I thought I saw a mug shot of Boogie at some point. Boogie is is a character, man. Boogie is a is a man. He's a force to be reckoned with. That's for sure. Francis, you know. Oh, Francis. Are you fine? Does Boogie have a have a? There is a mug shot of. Is that? I think was that for the gun thing. I guess. Booked in Washington County Jail. September 2020. Uh, yeah, he's currently was... held on $5,000 bond. How will he do this? Yeah. Poor Boogie, dude. Free Boogie. Free, free my man Boogie. Yeah. Purposely displays a firearm in such a manner that creates a substantial danger of death or serious physical in- injury. To be fair, the guy was like trolling him and like flew across the country just to troll him and showed up at his house. But it's also just funny, that picture of Boogie with the gun. Ah, <laughs> hey, make content for the rest of us, baby. That's all that matters, huh? Man, it would have been good content if you pulled that trigger. I know. You know? <sighs> that would have been great content. Damn it. I know. Maybe maybe we can go to his house. Maybe we can get shot. That's good content. Yeah. YouTube duo Super Mega killed by Boogie2988. <laughs> Shoots both of us in the head, execution style. Well, I feel he makes like us get on our knees. Well, I feel like the to get the, the most out of it, one of us would have to survive, but be in a wheelchair. Oh, that's true. That's true. And then tell the story. But we're not actually like, like he can shoot me in the shoulder. I'll just be in a wheelchair, just like on the news and stuff, just to kind of gain a little more sympathy. Yeah, I, I can. I'll die. I, I don't mind. It's just eternal nothingness. I mean, I could take the bullet this time. No, I can die. It's fine. Oh, I mean, if you want, if you want to switch things up, I don't think I can leave that. In. <laughs> we can we can switch things up. We can rock paper scissors it. Okay, okay, that seems fair. Do best two out of three, or just whoever wins lives. One two, rock. Wait, sorry, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry. I start. I said one, two, three. Rock, rock paper, paper scissors. Okay. Yeah, rock, rock paper, paper scissors. scissors shoot. shoot. 
rock, rock paper, paper scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Oh, <laughs> I'm dying. Yeah, it looks like Boogie's shooting you in the chest cavity. Fuck. He's going to blow your entire chest cavity just completely clean open. He's going to take a 44 Magnum and just blow my fucking head in half. And I'm going to go, ah! <laughs> and then he's getting, and I'm going to be running away and he's going to shoot me in the back. And I'm going to end gonna up He's going to shoot you in your ass. Yeah, right in the ass. Like Forrest Gump. <laughs> I got shot in the ass. Yeah, and then uh, I'll, I'll live to tell our tale. I'll write a book about, about Good. the whole ordeal. Good. I'll make a lot of money. I'll get, I'll get like a... You'll make money for us both. I'll get like a six, seven figure book I mean, deal. it all goes to you, but it, it's it's my story too. Exactly. It's in your memory. Not anymore. My memory doesn't exist. Half of my face is gone. <laughs> I'm just imagining Boogie like pulling the trigger. Like Blowing just, my fucking brains out. <laughs> like, like Matrix style camera movement of like close up on Boogie's face, pull out. It's like hollow point bullets. Fo- following this like homemade hollow point bullet that he made himself (laughs) that has like francis etched onto the side (laughs) oh man boogie no more you can't boogie remember that wii game boogie no there was a wii game called boogie i know just dance it was like just dance i love just dance i just i remember the commercial had that song boogie in it and it was fucking killer commercial boogie 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 it's not the, how that song goes no but it, you know imagine a louis style show with boogie <laughs> <laughs> boogie 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 yeah dude i love that imagery like <laughs> walking like down like a street in new york city <laughs> boogie 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 he's like a fedora on boogie boogie you're gonna die that's not a death threat to Boogie. That's just the lyrics of the song. Yeah. It's also like an older song in a lot of like shows or yeah, something. Yeah, they just licensed it probably. For like, what, like five bucks? Probably, dude. That song sucks ass. <laughs> License these nuts. <sighs> yes. You can't. Damn. You need to be like, <laughs> like a, you need to be like a, like a lawyer that represents like entertainment firms. <laughs> So, like, when someone comes to license, like, an artist... I'm suing song. your client. Yeah, we'll sue these nuts. Oh! <laughs> <sighs> Bad news. Looks like we lost. <laughs> By default. <laughs> what? The case hasn't even started yet. He said, sue these nuts. Oh, fuck. We can't, we can't we go can't, through with this. We can't. We'll look like fools. We're done. We're done. It's, we just have to call it quits. <laughs> fuck. Get these nuts. Oh, Oh, he's still listening? Oh, fuck. I'm going to have to disbar myself from ever representing law. Disbar these nuts. Get him out of the building! <laughs> uh, I just lost my bar license. I can't I can't serve anymore as a, as a legal representative of the state of California. I need to I need to come over and Oh, I've been coming over to your place more. Because it's really just a hangout den now. Yep. It's really just a hangout den now. Mm-hmm. It's like a big old opium den without the opium. Oh, especially since Don's there. Oh, yeah. I need to clean my place up, though. My place is getting pretty dirty. My place... I need to vacuum and... Jim has been keeping it clean. J- Jim cleans up every day, and that's very nice. See, jo- Justin just, like, stomps dirt everywhere when he walks in. I'm like, well, he please, put your, please put your shoes on. I'm beginning to think, like, it's an intentional thing. Yeah. Just fucking stomping around. Yeah, well, I... Okay, I don't want to get him in trouble, but I did last time we went over to your house. We were walking up to the front door, and it had rained. There was, like, a puddle of mud, and uh-huh. he went and, like... He was like, oh, watch this, and he stomped around in it for a oh, second, and course. then he went inside. Of course. His shoes were actually spotless before that. <sighs> the white Jordans. I was actually surprised he, he muddied them up so much. I didn't want to say anything, because, you know, he's he's he, he's a visitor. And he acted all upset that he got his new shoes dirty. yeah. I don't so, know. It's something to think about. Yeah, I mean, I mean, look, I'm, I, I've already said, you know, you, you and I actually like to, 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 to squash the bit there to end it. Um, you and I are kind of in a setup right now that I was in when I was growing up of going to like a parent's house every other week type of thing. Or, every, you know, every week I'd switch off, except it's longer in his case each time. It's Justin, yeah. We're just trading them back and forth between our places. <laughs> yeah, he's going to come stay with Uncle Matthew soon. And then he'll come back to, to Auntie Ryan. Yeah. 
you might cook good for him, but he has more fun staying at Uncle Matthew's house. Trust oh yeah, me. you mean he doesn't have fun uh, with 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 a man who lies in bed and watches uh, just. What do you think I do all day? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I like I, I take naps like all the time now, because my body's like you're not doing anything. Shut off. If you're already like just laying down, the naps come naturally. It's funny. I was watching. I was on TikTok, and all of a sudden I scrolled through, and Neil deGrasse Tyson pops up, and he's like, "You know, if uh, I want, you know, if I want to take a nap, if I have, what did he say? He's like, if I have time to sleep throughout the day, and I notice that I have time to sleep, I'm taking a nap." And right after that, I was like, yeah, I'm taking a nap. Damn, Neil. So he's good for something. Yeah, good for something. Finally. <laughs> Other than sucking this cock. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Uh, no, I won't be doing that. <laughs> now, what is it in this universe? There's probably a universe where I am sucking your cock. Because of his fucking <laughs> hand things. Things with his hands and his goofy ass mustache. <laughs> Oh man, Neil deGrasse Tyson! What a goofball, man! What a what an <laughs> asshole too. He's 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 just pretentious. I, I love uh, the ending of uh, Zoolander two. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, bitch. It's great. It's fantastic. Is that the tail end? No, but that that's, that's earlier like the in the climax movie. when things are coming beginning better, right? He, well, they have his cameo earlier, and mm. then at the very end, there's like an ex it just ends with like an explosion. He pops up, and then it's like cuts to black on a green screen. Yeah, does the green screen effect look better than when we saw it in theaters? I, I don't know. You I, saw it twice. I've only seen it dude, once. I, I twice was four years ago. I did watch Anchorman again recently with Justin, though. Oh, the first one. Yeah. <sighs> I, the second one's good. Yeah, but like part of me is like the first one is so classic. And See, the second I, I one just tries to it. redo so many bits of the first one. Like that's the problem with sequels when it comes to comedies. They just try to rehash the jokes again. And it's like, I've seen this before, but better. Which is not going to happen in the next Super Mega Book. Oh, of course not. Oh, of course not. We'll definitely not. not fall into that trope. No, Trust I mean, us. especially since we'll probably be on a stricter writing schedule this time. And I'm by that, I mean less time. No, we have more time than last time. Yeah, but knowing us. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, like, it's true. Old, <sighs> old habits die hard. I would do my essays, like, the night before they were due, and now I, we still do that same type of shit as adults, but it's like writing a whole book the night before it's due. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's, we'll get so it. much time. There's just so much stuff that, like, we've always, like, promised and shit in the past where it's because these things are stuff that we want to get done and we see that they're, like, we get excited feasible about it. and we get excited. And we talk about it because we're excited about it. And, like, I don't know. We just can't do everything all at, everything everywhere all at once, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Seen that yet? No, I haven't. I've you been meaning to. That's the last movie I saw in a theater. I heard it's great. I saw it on, like, the 11th of... March or some shit. Heard it makes you cry. Didn't make me cry. Well, I'm a straight white man. What themes? Do, what themes do they have that'll 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 make me emotional? You know what, dude? They don't make enough movies for us. I know. For us straight white men. The next one I can think about is probably not releasing for another few uh, days. Jurassic World Dominion. Min Big D dinosaurs? D Dominions? Whoa! It's got Dominions in it, you know what I'm saying? Well, the new, speaking of which, the new Minions movie, Minions, the the, the something of Gru. <laughs> the castration of Gru. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was good. Dude, fucking, I like how they call it Dominion because it just sounds like, like <laughs> Dominion. <laughs> yeah, you know? It's like Jurassic World with Minions. <laughs> it's not, though. Dominion. It's not. I'm just making a joke, man. Dominion me meaning like... No, I know. It means... I'm just making a joke, though. You know? It's not that serious. <sighs> hmm. What? I just think it's going to be a good movie for I, all of us whites. I never said it was going to be a bad movie. See, I, the, see the cast? Whiteies. Through and through. Honkies. Left and right. <laughs> Crackers, you could say. You can get, you, I can't believe you can get banned on Twitch for saying cracker. Finally. Yeah, can they ban me on Twitch for this? 